Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. I'd like to welcome you to Saturday, the 26th day of October 2024. Our seat of destiny today is titled, The World of Battle. The Bible says, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. Matthew 11 and verse 12. Thought for the day, one reason why we need a brutal, aggressive fighting spirit is that we live in a world of battles. Our anchor scripture makes an interesting statement about the inevitability of battles or violence such that not even the kingdom of heaven is excluded. We live in a world of battles, so it takes violence to conquer in life and in destiny. It takes the engagement of force to possess your inheritance in God. You need a fighting spirit to become all that God has ordained for you to be in life. Now, one reason why we need a brutal and aggressive fighting spirit is that we live in a world of battles. Our world is characterized by wars and battles. This makes possessing a fighting spirit an unavoidable necessity for survival. It is very disastrous to sit on the fence in a battlefield world like ours. Ephesians 6.12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. You may think you are living in a normal or a regular world, but we are living in a world that is literally a battlefield. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 45 says, For the weapon of our weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds and casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. The truth is, whether you are interested or not, there is a wrestling going on. This is, this, this is the fact, whether you offend somebody or not, you must wrestle. Some time ago, a little boy was given a candy sweet by his friend in school. He put the candy in his pocket, forgetting to lick it. When he got home, the mother checked the pocket of the child when she was about to wash his uniform and was shocked as what, at what she brought out. It was a human finger she brought out of the pocket instead of the candy. The candy had materialized into a human fig finger. The mother asked, how did you get this? And the boy said, a friend gave me candy. He gave me sweet in school. And I put it in that pocket. Can you imagine what this was meant to be? He was to eat it and was actually to have been initiated into witchcraft. Beloved, always remember that we live in a world of battles so you can equip yourself to fight the battles of life. Remember this, one reason why we need a brutal, aggressive fighting spirit is that we live in a world of battles. What's our assignment today? Number one, always equip yourself with the mentality that the world is a battleground. Number two, ask God to baptize you with a fighting spirit. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say, Father, I ask that you help me to be battle ready as I live in this world. I ask for a fresh baptism of a fighting spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go right ahead, go through our Bible reading, and I'd like to pray for you today. You want Jesus to be the Lord of your life, to set you free from battles and help you to um, have a, a fighting spirit to overcome the battles of this life. Simply pray this afternoon. Say, Lord Jesus, Thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner, I need your help. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please your Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. The Lord bless you. Cause his face to shine on you. In Jesus' name, amen. You are blessed. Have a wonderful day. And I wish you a happy birthday. It's your special day today. And we won't close until we wish you a happy birthday. As your days are, so shall your strength be. God causes face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Peace.